A daily inspection routine can help keep a machine and job site running efficiently. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to perform a daily inspection on a Vermeer vacuum excavator. Please refer to your machine's specific operators and maintenance manual for your specific requirements and safety information. Let's get started. Inspect all safety shields and decals and replace as needed. While the engine is cool, check the engine oil, coolant, fuel, and the engine air filter. Also, check the condition and tension of the belts. Look for any rips, tears, or fraying. Other fluids to check are hydraulic, blower, and water pump oil levels. Visually check suction hoses and make sure all gaskets between hose couplings are present. Check that the vacuum air filter and the cyclone covers are closed and securely latched. Additionally, make certain the spoil tank door is closed and latched. If freezing weather is expected, fill the antifreeze tank with an adequate amount of RV antifreeze. Before traveling to the job site, complete a pre-trip inspection of your truck and trailer. Also, be familiar with your company's requirements as well as local, state, and federal authorities. Prior to filling the fresh water tank, make sure all water drain valves are closed and the strainer screen has been installed. It is best practice to fill the tank opposite of the low water shutdown switch to avoid directly spraying the switch. Before beginning to pothole, make sure the rotary nozzle is in proper working condition. It is a best practice to point the nozzle in a downward direction. Any other direction can cause the rotary nozzle to be damaged internally. To allow for quality inspections, it is best practice to thoroughly wash the machine at the end of the day. Remember to clean the inside of the suction hoses and the gate valves. When washing the spoil tank, Make sure the sight glass, tank float, and mechanical ball are completely cleaned along with the cyclone separator housing. A best practice when cleaning the vacuum filter is to use low pressure water or air, spraying from the inside out. Before closing the tank door, inspect the door seal for any cuts or tears. Confirm the fresh water inline strainer is free of debris. Drain any remaining fresh water if the machine is going to be stored for an extended period. Lastly, grease the machine. Now you have a daily inspection routine you can use to help keep your machine running efficiently. Thanks for watching.